Apparently, you can get your bee supersized. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Bumblebee movie, Power Charge Bumblebee. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Bumblebee. We got Bumblebee doing some karate. Power Charge Bumblebee from the Bumblebee movie. On this side of the box, we got Bumblebee again doing his karate. Look at him, man! On this side of the box, we have Bumblebee again, just kind of chilling out, just chilling like a villain. On top here, we have a little message from Bumblebee himself. You can read that on your own time. Up top here, we have Bumblebee all like, what's up, man? What's up? on the bottom we have things and stuff and barcodes i like the little tire tread design there with the autobot symbols on it and on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots he does this at the other things and stuff warning and that's basically it for the packaging and moving right along, here we have Power Charge Bumblebee, and he is the big boy of this line. He's the big bee, the big bee boy, the big boy bee of this line. And here he is in his vehicle mode, and as you can see, quite, quite large. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at some of the details. We do have some transclearance plastic here for the headlights of the front bumper, and the rear bumper are done in a rubbery material there so it doesn't get broken doesn't get damaged this is definitely a toy that's meant to be just kind of you know slammed around beat around so that's why you have the uh the soft bumpers there and uh yeah you got the uh volkswagen symbol there on the rims the little volkswagen logo right there on the hood the uh, windshield and windows are painted in a dark blue got the side view mirror which is also nice and rubbery and not a whole lot of detail to speak of. Everything is nice and smooth. You got some red for the taillights. There's the top. There's the bottom. It rolls. As rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And there you have that. And for comparison, here it is with the uh, Nitro Series Bumblebee. So you can see how that works out. Here he is with the smaller Energon Igniter Bumblebee. And last but not least, here he is with the masterpiece movie Bumblebee. And as I said, he's the big boy. Now this figure has the uh, the 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 power charge gimmick, and how that works is you have this wheel right here in the middle of Bumblebee's chest, and when you kind of press down and roll him. Get the revving noise there. And you get that, so that's how that works. It's exciting. Vroom vroom. And I think that's pretty much all it does in vehicle mode as far as that feature goes. The packaging says there's over 25 sounds and phrases, and I think that's all you get in vehicle mode. I think everything else is just for the robot mode, but yeah, let's get to the robot mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's, he doesn't, he, does, he doesn't spin too well, but anyway, to get him transformed, we're just going to start with the top of the vehicle here. So you just want to take the whole roof section here and just... Pop all this up, pop all that up, the hood will come with it. So just bring that up, and then we're going to come back here, and we need to untab everything back here, just tabs in there, tabs in there, and also tabs into the side of the leg there, so just undo that, and do the same thing on the other side, just kind of pull that up, untab, untab all that stuff right there, and you want to come under here, and you want to grab these arms and just untap them. You just want to pull them forward and then swing them out to the side. Pull forward, swing out to the side, and there you go. And now you want to take, I need to raise the camera. I need some more room to operate. He's a big boy. He's a big B, a big boy B, big B boy. And you just want to take these sections here and just rotate them. Make sure you clear all that. Just rotate them like so. Rotate like so to form the chest. Um, he does come packaged with these bumper sections like flipped in. 
you can do that if you want to, but that's not accurate. So you can leave them up, you know, leave them up, flip them in, do whatever you want. As always, your toy, display it however you wish. But we got that done. And we'll just uh, leave all this as is for now and start working on the legs. So you just want to split the legs like so. The feet do tab into the body. See, there's a tab that just goes right in there. So untab the feet. And this will kind of get in the way, but that's all right. Mm. So what you're going to do is you're going to unpeg this back section here and just kind of swing this out to get it out of the way. And then we're going to take the foot, bring that over, swing all this around, and then we can bring the foot down like so. This section right here, we're going to fold up on this double hinge like that. Then this section will just swing in and tab in right there like so. Once you do that, you just bring the foot around, take the toes, bring them down, swing the foot in, and then this section will come up and just tab right in there like so. And there you have a leg all done. Second pass! Just like the first, just like it. So, just undo all that, get that out of the way, swing the foot over, rotate it around, swing that out, collapse that up, swing that in, dab, bring that around, bring the toe down, bring the foot up, bring this up, dab that in, and there you have. The legs all done. So now we'll just continue on with the upper body. So now we will just bring his arms down and just kind of swing them down the shoulder. This hinge is a bit too snug on mine. I'll just rotate that around and just straighten the arm out like so. Now we will come back here. Hey, hey, knees are a little weak on mine. <laughs> but oh well. So you're just going to take this section here and just flip that in. And when we tab in the back panel here, you get the transformation noise. And when you untab it, you get the transformation noise both ways. Hooray. <laughs> so you got that. And now for the wings, you just take this section here. And this one is always really tight on mine. Let go. There you go. Just untab this section, swing it down, take this section, swing it around. That'll just tab in right there. Same thing on the other side. Just untab that. There we go. Bring that down, swing that in. And there you go. There you have a power charge bumblebee in his robot mode. And it's not too shabby. You know, he's big, he's beefy. He's a big beefy boy bee, a big beefy bee boy. You know, hey, not, not, not too bad. Not too bad. I can work with this. I can work with it. So let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at his chest, at his noggin. There's the noggin. So pretty nicely done head sculpt. In my opinion, there is an Autobot symbol molded into his forehead there. Unfortunately, not painted. We do have some nice silver on the face as well as some silver there on the helmet as well. Of course, you have a little spinner thing which will activate the lights and sounds. We got some nice molded detail going throughout the body. Molded detail there in the abdominal region. This is where the speaker is, as you can see from all the little holes in there. Not a whole lot of paint to speak of. You got some silver right here on the shins. You got some yellow paint right here for the toes. And moving up the back, you know, not the cleanest. Does have a <laughs> bit of junk hanging off his back there, but it's okay. It is what it is. Now articulation wise, uh, the head can rotate. About that far, that's pretty much it. Arms. Can do a full 360, they can move in and out. You also have the transformation joint in there to work with if you need it. They can move in and out. Uh, you do have 
lower down a little bit. Uh, you do have rotation right above the elbow. You have 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Nothing at the wrist, uh, nothing at the waist. Legs can move forward that far, can move back that far. Outward, you can do the full splits. You have rotation right above the knee. You have 90 degrees of bend at the knee and the feet don't, they don't do anything. There's no up and down, there's no tilt. It just doesn't do anything because once you have this tabbed in, it kind of locks in place. So if you undo that, you can get some up and down movement. And that's pretty much it there. So there you have that. Now, as far as gimmicks in robot mode goes, uh, you do have the uh, stinger sword here, and it's just on a slider. You just bring it down, and whoa, there you have the stinger sword. You can see it does have the uh, little Cybertronian writing on the blade. So he's got his little, little dinky sword there. <laughs> and it does have the uh, battle mask, and to engage that, you just take these side pieces here of the helmet and you pull them forward and whoop, and the battle mask just flips down. Let's see, down that transclearance blue. I do quite like that pattern going on there in the eye. It's kind of a honeycomb, you know, uh, segmented eye thing going on there, which I do quite like. This guy's battle mask. Guys, little, he's got his little, his little shrink there. So, hey, he is ready. He is ready for battle. And you just flip it back, clicks back into place. There you go. So there you have that. And of course, you do have the power charging gimmick, which basically just involves rolling this, uh, this ball on his chest up and down. We play to win. What are you doing? <laughs> and there you get the. Uh, Little phrases and whatnot. You can see the headlights light up. <laughs> and the clips are randomized. The clips are randomized, so sometimes you will hear the same noise over and over and over again. That's one thing that's a bit annoying. Um, you know, the, the box says there's 25 plus sounds and phrases. I don't think I've heard them all yet. Show for you tonight. There you go. Psych! Psych! The Bumblebee. The Bumblebee. <laughs> Gearheads! That's a new one. That's the first time I've heard that one. There you go. We play to win! What are you doing? What are you doing? Gearheads! Gearheads, okay. Just like I said, see, sometimes you'll hear the same thing over and over again, and when you don't want to. Psych! Psych! You thought I was going to play a different noise. Psych! Yeah, we've heard that already. Psych! Psych! We play to win! What are you doing? I don't know. What are you doing? Psych! <laughs> Stop telling me psych bumblebee! Hey, we have a great show for you tonight. Yeah. Just in. This just in. I'm gonna play the same noise over and over again. Touchdown! Touchdown! Come on! Speak! Touchdown! Ah. Bumblebee, work with me, man. Work with me! Available at all local retailers. A new car! Hey! Touchdown! <laughs> the Bumblebee. The Bumblebee. It's just in. That, that was a new one. Never heard that one before. Speak! So yeah, um... <laughs> I 
apparently over 25 <laughs> sounds and noises. I'm not gonna waste time trying to get them all out because like I said, I, I haven't even heard them all yet and I've been messing with this thing for quite a while now and I don't think I've heard all the noises. I've, some of these noises I'm just hearing for the first time right now, so yeah. Um, it does suck that the noises are randomized in that way where it just gets kind of irritating more than anything because you're hearing the same thing over and over again, but oh well. It is what it is. So there you have that and now for comparison! Here he is with Power of the Primes. Leader class prime, just so you can see, definitely larger than your leader class toys. So, I have that. Uh, here he is with the Nitro series Bumblebee. Here it is with the smaller Energonic Niter Bumblebee. Oh, he's just a little guy. And here he is with the Masterpiece. Movie Bumblebee! And one more, here he is with the Studio Series Bumblebee. So, there you go! So there you have Power Charge Bumblebee. Um, the, you know, the figure itself is nothing spectacular. But I will say this is probably the best figure you're gonna get out of this movie line. But it is a pretty fun toy, though. Emphasis on toys. This is definitely, definitely made for the youngins. You know, it's definitely a toy that's made to be kind of smashed and banged around. It's been quite a while since we've gotten a toy with lights and sounds in it, so that's, you know, pretty cool. Although it does get a little bit annoying just due to the way the sounds are randomized, so Lord knows if you'll ever hear all the noises that this thing makes. But it's still a feature I can appreciate. So all in all, you know, not meant for everyone, but, you know, still a pretty fun toy. So, there you go. Now I pick this up at my local Target. You can also get Transformers movie toys from BigBadToyStore.com. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Transformers movie toys playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Bumblebee movie, Power Charge Bumblebee, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! Bumblebee! Oh, this, this is not right. This, this is not right at all. You know what? I'm going back to bed. We play to win! What are you doing? I need a nap!